Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, activating our Firebase uh, account and uh, basically creating a new project uh, for Firebase. So uh, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and um, uh, go look for uh, Google Firebase or go to console.firebase.google.com and you'll be presented with a screen to log in if you're not already logged in, which I am. So it's gonna uh, take you if you're already logged in it's gonna take you to this screen where it says uh, welcome to firebase otherwise it'll ask you to uh, log in and then you're gonna see go to console uh, link and uh, you simply go uh, firebase and you're gonna see this uh, go to console and as soon as you click on go to console uh, it's gonna take you inside the firebase console like so okay um, once you're here, uh, we want to create a new project. So we're simply going to create this new project and uh, we're going to name this one Firebase Demo. And uh, we're going to accept uh, the default uh, analytics. We're going to accept the uh, conditions and terms and uh, going to create the project. Okay. So Firebase is going to uh, start creating our project and uh, setting up the environment uh, for us. So uh, it's going to take, uh, maybe depending upon uh, the uh, uh, the system uh, and the load, it's going to take a couple of seconds. So mine is ready. It's going to say your new project is ready. So you just click continue and you're going to be... Uh, you're going to be directed into this screen where it's going to show getting started uh, by adding Firebase into your app. All right. So once you get on this screen, um, as you can see, Firebase is supported on various different platforms. So iOS, Android, web, as well as on Unity, um, it is supported. So we are interested in um, iOS. So we're simply going to click on iOS. And um, now it needs our bundle ID. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our app and click on the project settings and gonna copy uh, this bundle identifier. So you go ahead and copy your own uh, project's bundle identifier, whatever you have named it. And uh, then you're gonna click uh, back to the browser and gonna provide that bundle ID. Once you've done that, you simply click register app Now, uh, Google is going to present this uh, download uh, for you, download dialog, which is going to download Google services dash info dot plist. Now, this plist includes uh, some of the secrets about your own project. So the recommendation is um, if you're using Git or anything like that uh, or public Git, uh, GitHub account, uh, in that case, uh, the recommendation is not to uh, basically commit this file because it keeps your uh, personal secrets uh, like app keys and app tokens and stuff like that so download it and uh, when you're actually uploading it make sure you actually you exclude this particular file from your uh, commit okay but uh, this file is needed for any operation to be uh, completed uh, as far as the firebase connect firebase connection goes so let's go ahead and download this And uh, once it is downloaded, I'm going to try to uh, bring it into the project by dragging it and dropping it anywhere right here. And make sure it, that you have copy if item needed um, checked and you have add to target is checked as well and just click finish. Okay, once it's copied, uh, you can simply go there, make sure that you have uh, this bundle ID is same. Um, so that's the bundle ID you wanna confirm. So you know that it is the correct one that you have downloaded. And now we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so now uh, basically Firebase is saying that uh, we are ready to use CocoaPods and uh, basically to um, 
basically to initialize CocoaPod and include Firebase Core into our uh, app. Okay, so in case if you don't know, uh, CocoaPod is the project uh, is the package manager for iOS and it manages all the dependencies uh, for you uh, for iOS and it's very easy to use. So simply go to CocoaPods.org uh, to get started if you don't already have. Um, uh, CocoaPod installed in your machine. I do have it already installed. So uh, if you visit this link, it's going to basically guide you uh, how you can install CocoaPod. So you simply go here and um, you can simply say sudo gem install uh, CocoaPods in your terminal and then basically follow these steps from there on. Uh, and make sure uh, you, uh, you might already have Xcode installed, but make sure you have Xcode installed already. And sudo is basically needed uh, because you are uh, installing some uh, Ruby gems, uh, so you need super user permissions for that. Okay. So once uh, you have actually uh, installed CocoaPod, um, you can, uh, the way CocoaPod works is basically creates this uh, text file called uh, pod file. And in that pod file, you can have your target, uh, like that, that's your app, and you can have all the dependencies defined within that, inside that target. And all these, all these dependencies are uh, usually, um, are open source projects uh, that are out there that that other users like you have created and then uh, made it available for you to reuse so it's an open source contribution uh, but you can have your own uh, CocoaPod uh, repository as well uh, that's an advanced topic how to create that and how to um, how to include it but just to give you an idea if you have like you know local uh, internal private uh, pod uh, spec uh, created uh, within your organization. You can simply uh, include something called source at the top and then provide the um, uh, provide the uh, part spec information of the GitHub link, internal GitHub link, and it'll actually uh, download the part specs from there. All right, so that's a bit bit advanced topic. If you uh, are interested more, uh, then I have a course actually that talks about how to create reusable frameworks and uh, how to uh, create your own part specs and stuff like that. So you can actually refer to that. Uh, but let's continue uh, for our project. Okay, so once you have your pod file ready, you actually simply do pod install in your terminal and that creates a new workspace. Now workspace is a combination of various different uh, projects and then uh, basically so your project now uh, is not only the project that you've that you have created, but it combines all these other dependency projects as well. So it, it includes those dependencies inside your app and it creates a workspace for you. Now, next time when you open, you're gonna close this one, uh, this project and open the workspace and you're gonna work in the workspace. It's gonna be pretty much same, like, you know, except few differences that you're gonna see pods and stuff like that. And we're gonna see like, you know, how they look like uh, when we uh, do our own pod installation. And then you just import and start using those um, uh, those external dependencies, all right? So that's a little bit about uh, CocoaPods, but let's go back uh, to Firebase. And what I want to do is um, I want to uh, basically launch a new terminal. So I'm going to launch a terminal. And uh, so let me launch a terminal and bring it back to you guys. Okay, so uh, with this, um, we can uh, we can navigate to this uh, directory. So uh, let me go ahead and navigate to that directory first. So I'm inside this general app um, directory now I'm gonna simply ls and see I'm at the level where I can see my uh, project file and this is where uh, we are going to say pod in it 
just like what it says here and uh, this is going to create a new file called pod file just like we discussed and uh, we're going to modify this so i'm going to use vi to modify this file so i'm going to say pod file vi pod file and simply going to uh, press key i to start modifying this file okay and here um, right underneath uh, where we have our um, where we have use framework uh, we're going to basically start putting our parts together so we're going to say pod firebase slash core okay and uh, once I'm done with the changes I'll hit escape uh, and hit shift hold shift key and press zz twice to save the file changes and now I'm gonna do pod install once you do pod install you're gonna see a whole bunch of things are basically getting downloaded and um, your new project is getting created so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna close out our old project and we're gonna copy this and we're gonna say ls and open this project there you go and this is the workspace uh, that we are actually using now um, i want to make sure that um, i refer to the access max iphone xs max so iphone xs max okay connect to that i'm gonna hit run real quick to make sure that my project compiles and uh, now if you notice uh, this project uh, this xd workspace has um, more than one project so earlier we were just seeing our journal app but now we are seeing journal along with parts so if you look at this pod um, you're gonna notice that we have uh, these um, this pod file that we just updated it has all the pod information and these are all the dependent uh, libraries that are there um, that are that have been included okay and our project works as is so there is no change whatsoever in the project infrastructure okay so let's go back into our app and what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go back to our browser first and gonna click next and now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some initialization code so it's basically saying that um, inside your app delegate import firebase and configure firebase app so we're gonna do just that so we're simply gonna go app delegate we're gonna import firebase and right here we're gonna say firebase app dot configure okay once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and give it a, another run and um, gonna reinstall the app recompile and install the app and we're gonna go back into our browser oh one more thing I want to show is um, once you add uh, all these uh, there are some basic level of analytics that's gonna uh, start uh, for you and you can start seeing basically those in your logs so you can see like you know some analytics and some other uh, whole bunch of other info um, uh, information uh, that Firebase is gonna print it out uh, don't worry about those things uh, but they're there uh, just for FYI information if you're curious google it like what it is and it's gonna tell you okay so let's go back and uh, let's click next to finish the process and there we go as soon as you run the app you're basically gonna see this congratulation uh, you have been successfully added to the Firebase or you have successfully added Firebase to your app and we are done so we go to console and now we are ready uh, to use uh, firebase and you can see your firebase here um, the the project here and what we are going to do is uh, first thing we're going to use is the auth so um, we're going to go to authentication and uh, inside the authentication we're going to do set up sign in method okay we're going to enable this um, email id email and password uh, sign in method and uh, we're not gonna enable uh, email link uh, if you want you can enable that it works uh, as is but we want to use email and password combination so that's what we're going to enable and click save 
okay like you can see here uh, you can enable like phone validation sign in for the phone uh, sign in with Google play uh, game and all the other um, uh, different types of sign in providers so you are very very much welcome to actually explore those and they work uh, seamless uh, but for our example uh, email password is gonna work but you can actually try all the other things so okay so uh, once we've done that uh, let's go into uh, uh, let's go ahead and actually I want to make sure that we have everything ready okay so so you can add if you want to add a user you can add a user here with username and password now remember this username and password once you set it uh, it's gonna be the only time you're gonna see the password after that you're never gonna see the password so um, make sure when you recreate it you remember what the password is otherwise you're gonna have to delete that user okay so with that said uh, there's one more thing we're gonna do uh, in Firebase while we are there um, we're gonna include Firebase uh, Cloud Store. Uh, so Cloud Firestore. So we're gonna simply uh, click on this create database, start in test mode, and enable that. Because we're already here, we're simply gonna enable this and uh, leave it here. Now we're not gonna do any uh, dependency installation yet. Uh, I just wanted to create this because we were already uh, in the Firebase, so we don't have to come back and redo this configuration. So this is it. Uh, we are all set and we are ready to go with Firebase. So uh, in next uh, video, we are gonna work on the sign up screen to sign up our user uh, and create our user within Firebase. And then uh, we're gonna actually, a uh, video after that, we're gonna see how login works uh, with Firebase. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.